hello guys welcome back to my channel mm, guys are highly welcome so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can make african bone straight you can call this african bone straight you can still call it blunt cut food. okay i'm going to show you guys how to easily do this from start to finish from the beginning from the closure part to the um, blunt cutting it like everything so the first thing we are going to do is to of course make a uh, closure available okay so i'm making use of two by six closure and i have to vent it first with extension please this is not a detailed video on how to ventilate how i ventilated the closure check my video okay check the third video the last second video i upload the other is the video please go ahead and watch it then we need our scissors we need our mesh cap we need our um sorry need our trade okay and of course our extension that's the materials we need so i have to secure so guys i have to secure my mesh cap on my head and then get our closure already deflated and treated closure i have a video on how to do that for the details check my channel i have to secure this okay for me to get a very perfect closure make uh, make sure everything is laying very flat then you can secure it with your pin anything you have you can fully use a um, face pin to do this just make sure it's laying very flat then I have to use a band to hold the head so that it doesn't stop me while I'm trying to sew down the closure. So you can see how flat the closure is. Just the secret of getting a perfect closure, like sewing down a perfect closure. When I'm done, I get my needle and thread and start sewing down the closure to the mesh cap okay first of all i go in from the cap to the lace from the lace again to the cap from the cap to the lace before i'll now move like forge ahead and then start sewing down the closure around okay this is how i do start first of all going um use the pin pick the mesh cap from the mesh cap pick the lace okay then from the lace again go and um, pick the lace then pick the cap if you watch what i do definitely understand what i'm trying to explain here so this is me trying to sew the closure round if you need a detailed video on how to sew down your closure no matter the size of the closure please check my video on that i'll still leave the link to that particular video all these videos i'm referring to i will link the i will link um the listing i mean i will place the link to those videos in the description of this particular one or in the comment section okay so this is it when i'm done sewing down the closure so the next thing we are going to do is to apply what will guide us while making the wig okay so i use my measuring tape secure it with the pin then here you can use anything available anything that you can use to give a mark than just what matters for me i'm using this um, concealer so i'm marking now one one inch i can still use a chalk or a, mask, a, a metallic pen to do this i mark, I mark out one one inch then when i get close to where the closure is i mark out half half inch Okay, one one inch. Then when I get close to the closure part, I mark out half half inch. So the next is just for me to um place it. Sorry, for me to just draw it round. Okay, from the one one inch, I just have to make a line just round like that. So this is me just demarcating it like that from one end to another. The reason why you need to do this is number one it will give you a very neat work number two it will make your wig to be very very full 
to make your african wig to be very very full so you need to do this just give one inch apart so this is the extension we'll be making use of color 27 feel free to make use of any color you prefer so when i lose the band i have to pick a little from the closure because for this week we are going to make use of three different cuttings okay we are going to use cotton six we are starting with cotton six then as we find our head we switch to cotton five and then definitely the top side and the front side should be cotton four so this is me cutting cotton six which is the fourth the fourth side the first size you just have to cut cotton six cut it to four at the center then each of them um, cut it into three that's how you get your cotton seeds so when i'm done you have to stretch of course join everything together and stretch okay this is how, how best i stretch my attachment i've already made a video on two ways you can stretch your attachment guys please you can go ahead and watch that video so you know the one you prefer but for me i prefer this method and when I'm done, I have to apply hair cream, okay, so that it will be shiny. So, this is how far I have gone, okay, and we're just following twisting line after line. Just follow the line, remember the line will match, and just what I was following. And this is how far I've gone. Don't worry, I'm going to show you guys how i was able to achieve this so just get your red pin sorry your crochet pin i'm making use of this the small size of crochet pin not the big size because we are dealing with tiny twist here so when i crochet that i need to take a little amount of this extension just a little for this is african bush that we're making so it has to be tiny so when I crochet that, I have to start twisting, okay, I twist both sides, then I interchange, please make sure your twist is very very tight, I twist both sides of the hair, I interchange, twist both sides of the hair, I interchange, that's just how to twist, if you don't know how to twist as a beginner, I want me to make a video, a very detailed video, how you can twist from the root place, let me know in the comment section definitely i will do that so i will twist all through the end okay i have to twist all through the end and when i'm done twisting the next thing i'm going to do is to trim it i trim immediately after each twist the reason why i'm doing this is that this particular african bone stretch is very very tiny i mean the twist so if I should just leave everything when I'm done, then I'll come and start twisting. Hmm. It will be very, very bulky and I might get tired while twisting it. I think the best thing is just to twist, sorry, be to trim while you twist. Like once you're done with each twist, you trim it. That's just the best thing to do. So crochet in little amount of the hair and then you start twisting. This is how you start your twist. You twist both hair, then you interchange it. You twist, you interchange. You twist, you interchange. So you twist and you interchange. And again, guys, at this point, I'm no longer making use of cotton four. Okay, I will always switch to cotton five. Like I said, the beginning, so I wasn't longer uh, making use of cotton three, not cotton four. So if I then we cut this, at this point I will make a use of cotton five. So as we move, we are going to switch to cotton four. So definitely the upside and the closure part should be cotton four. When I'm done twisting to the end, I have to trim it as So guys, if I should kind of um combine all the processes because it's we have a long process for this week. This um, 
video is going to be very very long that's why I, I decided to make it in two parts so this is part one of this video okay this is how the end is don't worry i'm still going to do a blunt cut which i'm going to show you guys in the next the second part of this video so this is just part one okay i'm going to upload the second part which is the where we get the end result later thank you guys for watching please if you're yet to subscribe go ahead and subscribe turn on your notification bell so that once i upload the second part of the video you will get notified if you have any question drop it in the comment section i will attend to that and please do not forget to give this video a like thank you guys once again for watching and see you guys in my next tutorial which is definitely the second part of this video bye